Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be taking you along for the day and sharing what I eat and what some of my favorite meals have been as a new mom. I am currently four weeks postpartum. I'm very busy and my time is so much more limited now, but it's so important, especially right now, for me to really nourish my body because I am breastfeeding and just recovering postpartum. So I'm really focusing on prioritizing eating, meal prepping, so that I can produce good milk for my baby and also just have the energy and the stamina to keep going on very little sleep because that is still very much a thing happening right now under this concealer. <laughs> So for breakfast, my favorite, favorite thing that I can finally have again after giving birth is smoked salmon on avocado toast. I miss this so much when I was pregnant. So this is what I've been having pretty much every morning and I love it. And salmon as well as avocado are great sources of healthy fats, good omegas, great for breastfeeding, but also just in general, good fats are really important for skin health as well. And this is a pretty well-balanced meal. You've got your protein, good fats, and healthy carbs from the toast. And then for some greens, I love just doing some cucumber slices on the side. So refreshing and hydrating as well. And it's just such an easy way to incorporate some greens. So usually as I'm preparing my breakfast, I also like to just meal prep a few things for the day because this is usually when I have the most time, like the largest chunk of time where I know she's going to be sleeping on her own and I can usually get quite a bit done for the day. So for example, I love just popping in some sweet potatoes in the oven. These will bake for approximately one hour, so I just set a timer to know when I have to take them out. And then I'm also doing some chicken breasts as well, just really simple with a drizzle of olive oil and some poultry seasoning and I make sure to get both sides and then I top it with a little fresh pepper as well and this will also just go in the oven for about 20 minutes and I will either have this for lunch if I can or it will be something that we have for dinner or as part of our dinner even as a snack I just like to have things like this ready in the fridge for when I get hungry and if I might not have time to make something later on and then something I always do is cut up some fruit so usually two apples and I pop them in some Tupperware alongside some cucumber slices as well so again that i have something easy to grab and snack on during the day it's already cut up and ready for me to have So now when I'm done with breakfast, this is usually when I take my supplements for the day. And I'm taking a few different ones now when I'm breastfeeding that are really good for optimizing milk production. And I thought these were really interesting. It's something that I didn't really know that much about before um, giving birth. So this first one is from Legendary Milk. This is their liquid gold. It's made with organic herbs and it says it optimizes breast milk production. It contains goat's root herb, milk thistle seed, and other supportive herbs. And then I'm also taking this postnatal. This has different vitamins vitamins like vitamin A, C, E, K, B12, calcium, it's like a multivitamin for the postpartum period to help to rebalance and just strengthen your body after birth. And then I'm still taking my prenatal DHA for some good omegas. Whether you're pregnant, postnatal or not, I think taking a good DHA supplement is really important for skin health, just for your joints and things like that. And then of course, magnesium. You guys know that this is something that I really love. I do take this in the evening before I go to bed. I feel like it has such a nice calming effect on the body on the muscles. Another really important supplement that I take is a probiotic and this is also something that goes into the breast milk and actually helps to build and strengthen the gut microbiome of the baby. And I was also taking this throughout my pregnancy as well. It's actually almost empty. I have to refill it. I just have two left and they do have a really great refill system as well. They just send you packs every month and you just refill this glass jar. So it's a lot more economically friendly, so much better for the environment as well. And they really put a lot of effort into sustainability. But the main reason I really love seed and I keep going back to this brand for probiotics is that the bacteria is actually guaranteed to make it all the way down to your colon, which is a huge thing that not all probiotics can do because a lot of them just get burned up by our stomach acids and bile salts and enzymes. But seeds probiotics are encapsulated within a two-in-one 
Bia Cap technology, which is this really cool outer shell, which actually protects the bacteria on their way down to your colon and to your digestive system. So that is huge. So you actually know that the probiotics that you're taking are working and they're gonna have a really good effect on you. And I take two of these on an empty stomach every single morning. I've been doing this for over a year, probably like a year and a half now, and I love it. It has so many benefits, of course, for your digestive health, but also for your skin health, for your mood and overall wellness, even for your sleep quality, your heart health, your brain health. If you have a healthy gut, it really translates to so many other things in the body. If you guys have not tried this out yet, I would highly, highly recommend it. You can use my code AnnieJ15 and the link down below for 15% off your first order. So yeah, if you're looking for a really good probiotic, I would highly recommend this one. Again, I'll make sure to have it linked down below along with the other supplements that I mentioned as well. It is now around one o'clock and I'm ready for some lunch. Baby girl is sleeping. She always puts her head like way back here and I put it back like I put it more in the middle and then she just wants to have her head like that. <laughs> yeah, she's very snug and cozy in here. This wrap is from Sally Baby and it's super, super uh, soft and cozy and the pattern is so pretty as well. So when we have a situation like this where she's on me and I'm hungry, I wanna eat, one of my go-to things are these chia and oat puddings that I make the night before or I make them in the morning. But I've literally had one of these every single day for the last few weeks and they're just so easy, they're nutritious. Oatmeal, of course, and even chia seeds are really good for um, breastfeeding and for milk production. I also put cinnamon in here, vanilla, some raisins. I'll pop in the recipe right now so you can see what's in here, but super easy and simple to make and um, there's also some almond milk in here or sometimes I use oat milk depending on what I have just mix it up put it in the fridge and it's good to go after a few hours but you can also make this the night before and it's a very convenient and easy thing to eat like on the go with just one hand and it's super um, nutritious and delicious as well So to this, I add some frozen blueberries, a banana, sometimes also frozen raspberries, just depending, some pumpkin seeds, and some almond butter. girl is down for a nap and I'm gonna have this little snack plate I usually don't have this all on one plate I'm like in the kitchen grabbing things <laughs> between doing like dishes and laundry and all that kind of stuff but I quickly put together a little plate of things that I would have now like at this time so I've got the sweet potato that I made this morning some of the apple slices cucumber and also just a hard-boiled egg which I think is such a great and easy source of a good protein so I'm gonna enjoy this I also just quickly wanted to say thank you so much for all of the love and the sweet comments and messages on all of my like birthing videos and my birth and labor vlog and also my birth story it was really so much fun to be able to share that with you guys and have that also as a memory and I really appreciate all of your love and your sweet comments a lot of you guys also said that it helped you a lot in like having a more positive mindset around birth and labor and that is so cool birth and all of that it's definitely no walk in the park it's it's hard work at least it was for me but still it was so beautiful and so special and there's so many moments like especially between the surges and between the contractions where you're just so blissed out and so happy and so excited to meet your baby and just be going through like finally after nine months of waiting you're about to meet your baby you know yeah just such a cool experience so thank you also i want to say a huge thank you for everyone who has supported our brand nourish 3 with our newest launch you guys probably know we launched our moisturizer around the same time that i gave birth which is 
kind of crazy that it happened at the same time but yeah a lot of you guys have received your orders and you've already left reviews and i love 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 seeing all the positive feedback and that you guys are really enjoying the product like that is so cool yeah the launch of that has been really really exciting as well so it's been a busy month for sure and mo and i were saying we should have a special code just for our youtube community for you guys to use if you want to try any of our products if you haven't tried the moisturizer yet we do also have a really beautiful cleanser and a face mask as well so if you guys want to try any of these products you can use the code annie15 on our nourish3.com website and you will get 15% off and this code is valid throughout the year so even if you're watching this much later on you can still use the code and i'll make sure to have all of the information and the links to our website and the code and everything down below in the description box if you guys want to check it out but yeah i'm now going to enjoy my little snack plate and probably rush around and do a few things before baby girl wakes up so I'll see you guys a little bit later so later for dinner we actually had Mo's mom arrive from out of town and she was here this afternoon and she brought some food with her so this is what we had some rice a bit of the chicken that I made earlier uh, some soup that she brought and a few other little Arabic dishes so this was dinner very helpful to have someone bring food especially at this time and we've also just been ordering a lot for dinner as well so yeah this is kind of what a typical day of eating has looked like for me the last weeks I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one